Hello and good day and welcome to our second episode of Talking Tunes. Today we're about, we're about to talk about a very important part of any cartoon character or anime character, what have you, which is the eyes. And as you can see here, we already have one that's actually completed. Uh, it's actually one of the eyes that we use for our animated movie called Mecha Brawlers, as I mentioned in episode one. And since we're on the subject of the actual textures, let's actually jump into our attribute editor to see exactly how we went about doing this. Now, as you can clearly see to our right, we have some connections happening here through the color, transparency, and last but not least, uh, let's go all the way down here. Nope. Go down to special effects our glow intensity now those files are actually here in Photoshop now it's actually two files that will be driving the actual look specifically for the highlights that you're seeing here in the characters eye on in the eye uh, for instance and let's actually go through them here now the two files that I just mentioned are adequately named iGloss underscore highlights. Now we have them saved as a JPEG. Uh, other files would work just fine. Specifically, let's say for instance you want to have an animated uh, texture, they will just fine. And of course for the glow, we have the same texture, however I'm not too sure if you can see it here, it's actually brought down to about 10 or 20 percent which is actually perfect for actual eye glows because realistically what we really have here is just actually on the outside here is where the glow is actually really taking place you know not too strong not too light just perfect now let me just go into the channel box editor and we actually have a practice file well a practice a practice model of the eye as well which is literally just a duplication of the completed one so you can actually practice yes uh, it, all of these files will be available to you on our website which is actually opening up will go live actually next week which is good stuff so let's just dive right in let's actually deal with the cornea first so as I mentioned before, we have all these files that we're going to be connecting. Let's actually start with the glow. All right. Um, let's actually open this up here. Oops. Call that I gloss glow. Yeah. Let's connect that in. Actually, you know what? I will create a whole new Lambert. Let's actually start this as if we're now about to do our texturing. All right, and I'll call that anime underscore cornea. And let's just say layer at the end, just for the sake of it. And I think instead of plugging into the special effects, let's actually go from the top, and let's actually plug in the color first. All right, and we'll go to I gloss underscore highlights plug that one in and we'll just go right back do the same thing for transparency All right. and we'll connect the highlights as well alright but with a very big difference since we're in transparency we're going to scroll down to color balance of course it's usually closed like this but we'll open it up and alpha gain is fine and we just turn on alpha's luminance specifically for transparencies so i think we got what we want here and of course i have this set to high quality rendering so i can actually see what's happening here all right so that's okay we'll just turn that off for a while so we can finally start working with this one here and while i am at it i will actually open up the hyper shade I'm actually going to use the textures in the hyper shade as a selection group. So let's see what we're working with here. All right. 
right we're gonna start with eyeball practice so that's the one we're gonna start with and that is ah here it is all right you all you're gonna do is just right click on it select select objects with material and there we go we have that selected now we can dive into our tune shader and let's start working now the one I'm going to be using is actually the shaded brightness two tone shader for this one alright and we'll call that anime underscore eyeball underscore texture alright and I will probably increase the highlights on this a little bit more let's say about there should be fine that's that's not too bad all right and next up actually let me s move this out of the way a little bit so have these organized a little better all right next up we have our eyeball underscore practice inner ring. Let's find that one. Ah, there it is. Select objects with materials. So we have that one selected. All right, and we'll apply the same two tone shader, except this time we'll be actually removing this node in the back here. We don't actually need that one. This one will do just fine. And this time we're actually going to attach to our selected color our ramp shader as you can see right here let me just organize this a little better and here we go so we're going to move into that the type that we're going to use is actually going to be either a radial or in this case a circular ramp i think circular ramp should work fine Turn this to default so you can actually see it a little better this time. Alright. Hmm. Radial or circular? We'll see what the radial ramp gives us this time. Alright. I'm going to move this up just a little bit. Let's see. You know what? I think I'll go the circular this time. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to bring this down a little bit. It's a little more visible. Move this out to the way. And just adjust it right there. And we'll bring the red a little closer. That's fine. That's exactly what I want. It's just this kind of highlighted look. And now we can add in our colors. So originally we went with a green, so let's stick with that. And up here, I believe we went with a dark green. All right. And also one right here as well. All right. It's not too bad for a start. Okay, so let's connect all the others. And that one right there. We'll call that the anime underscore iris underscore texture. That's good. I can work with that. And last but not least, we need the eyeball practice underscore outer ring to be selected. So let's see which one is that. Ah, here it is. So we need that one right there. I think what we can do for this is just use a solid color. And we'll just call that anime underscore eye underscore outer ring and all we'll do is just change that to black or whatever color you prefer 
I think that works for me. I'm going to turn back on the cornea and let's turn on high definition. All right, a couple of things we need to deal with already. Uh, ambient color we could turn up just to make this a tad bit brighter so when it renders you don't have it too gray and let's just dive right back into our render view and we'll just keep a copy of that one and render it just to see That's not too bad. Let's just zoom out a little bit. I think, yes, I do have that set. Let's up this a little bit. Let me just run a second render just to be sure. Ah, that's not too bad. Uh, let me just go into glow intensity. I just realized we missed glow intensity, which is probably why we're not getting that nice laughter glow around there let's deal with that now let's go for there it is, eye gloss glow connect that in and let's re-render that I should turn out pretty okay I think I probably add raised the ambient a little too high, but let's just see how it looks. Yes, I did. All right, let me just go back and fix that. I can turn this back down now. That was a little too high before. Yeah, the ambient tends to the higher the ambient, the the brighter the glow and that should be fine oh a little too much let's turn this down a bit it's a little too much yeah, I think this should do it Okay, so let's see here. I think what we'll do is just finish off a little bit by going into our glow intensity. Let me just go back and use the one that we currently have. And I'll just finish up, I think, with making the alpha gain something like 0.2. And then I'll just go in here. And I'll probably finish up by increasing this. This should probably do the trick. Run one more render just to be safe. There we go. That's what was missing. All right, and that's that's pretty fine. I mean, we can always continue and add in a little tweak in here and there. If anything, I guess I could probably just make this uh, the shadowing on our eyeball in particular just a tad bit l brighter that shouldn't be too bad let's turn back on the cornea and just run one more render just to be safe yeah I like how that looks that that that's quite all right and there we go. You know, I think I did this one a little smoother while this one's a little more sharper. If there are any questions, uh, you can always leave them in the comments. I will be checking these videos quite regularly. And if you would love to see much more, feel free to subscribe and maybe even give us a like. We also have a Facebook uh, page that you can probably head on over and give us a like. We do also answer as many questions as we can over there as well. 
And as usual, thanks for watching.